As you can see, I've set up a nice little obstacle course for these guys. Well, you know, whenever they say yes to your deal, you think, did I go to, did I not go low enough, you know? Hopefully this is not a conversation where he's looking at uh, going elsewhere. I hope that's not it. Well, if sure. that's the price of your car, then you can keep it, and I'll walk on down the road. No, I'm I mean, I'll go call my son. Can I use your phone? I got a, in 15 years and 17 years, two more sales right there. <laughs> you know what? Hi, I'm Dawn. You normally see me in the service department. I'm a service advisor. Welcome to ICT Reality TV, where we're taking you behind the scenes of the dealership. competition is going to be a percentage of body weight. So if you start at 250 and you lose 25 pounds, you've lost what? 10% of your body weight. There you go. So it's going to be the largest percentage loss of body weight. First place winners are going to get the trip to Las Vegas. And our guys are not quite, our, our team is not quite losing the pounds like we uh, need to. We need some help. Help from Genesis Health Club, sir. You know anybody over there that can help us? And we're going to have a uh, Eddie's Toyota class where we're going to actually let them work out for an hour together. Fat burning class. And, uh, Hopefully these people, we, you know, hopefully we can get them lifestyle changes. That's what we're after here. So, Hi, my name's Lacey. I'm a personal trainer at Genesis Health Club's Rock Road location. Looking forward to training the Eddie's Toyota crew today. As you can see, I've set up a nice little obstacle course for these guys. Um, I understand they've been training for a few weeks really hard with a little challenge, a weight loss challenge. So I was up really late last night till about 1 o'clock planning out the perfect workout for them. So I can't wait for them to show up. Okay, Rodney, give me the numbers. How many people showed up yesterday? How'd they do? How'd my guys do? Well, how many showed up all together? <laughs> Nobody showed up. Not one person. Wow. God, we had like a dozen people that said they'd be there. Mm. Well, tell her we're sorry. Um, we'll get a better turnout for tomorrow. Well, apparently I'm the only person to show up for the Biggest Loser workout today. Um, maybe nobody got the schedule per email, but uh, I do hear a few people had the flu or their kids were sick, so I can understand some people not showing up, but to have a trip on the line and people wanting to win a big deal for losing weight, nobody showed up. But, uh, you know, the owner of our company owns a gym. You'd think with the price they can get a, a membership for that, Everybody be coming all the time and, and trying to take care of their health, but uh, that's not the case. So, okay, so what's the best you can do for me here? You know, it, my my goal here is to, you know, he's at 14 nine ounce car, because clearance out, being certified, but if I can get him to do 14.7, okay? Remember, we'll tell him I'll do 14.9 if it's out the door. Yeah, he, he bought that, you know, but what? if I can how get you 14.7 plus that's know, how much is out there, How much is the additional cost, though? The tax and the fee? To put it out the door, yeah. You gotta see. know that. Sure, not a problem. We'll get that done for you here. Edmunds has got it at 12.8, mm -hmm. okay? And even retail value on BB, um, bluebook.kbb.com, which is 14.1. Okay, so if it's, it's 14.1 I mean, why is it not 14.1 your price? 14.1, which is a great question, but you got to inquire the cost of the inspection and the warranties and everything that's involved in this that is going to be going to you, the savings that you're going to have up to 100,000 miles worth of protection. So that comes with this car. So, I mean, it's very hard to take a, a vehicle uh, where it's sitting now, it's hard, hard to judge this car where it's at, well, price no, wise. But I'm looking for a good value. Yeah. Okay. If the standard value on Kelly Blue Book is 14.1, mm -hmm. then I should think 
You want to give me something very close to that? I understand. That's where I'm trying to see if I can get a okay. number. Okay, give uh, me a fourteen some, seven. That's not close to fourteen okay. one. Well, then let's talk about the price because we need to talk about that first before we go figure anything else to make sure it's taken care of. So if I can get you at, at a fourteen six fifty because we're talking about that's being certified. That's done. That's tiny little taking little tiny little steps here. I understand. You're busting my you understand busting my okay. okay. You know what? I agree. I, I think you just take 14-1 to him and let him, let him figure out what it was. 14-1. Yeah, you're right. And is that non-certified, right? Non-certified. You don't want the warranty of 14-1? Because you can go buy a car retail for 14-1 somewhere else, but not have that additional protection. That's where I want you to weigh. Oh, how much is your that, warranty you think it's worth? Um, I think it's worth uh, about 1000 bucks because that's generally what we put on a car to take to get it certified because we pay for that up front. Oh, it's worth no, if you don't bucks, want it. Then let's do 13.9 and no warranty then. 13.9, no certification? Yeah. That's fair. I get two sets of keys. Let me have him go back and check and see if the two sets of keys are available. Okay. We'll see if we can get this all done here for you. I'll okay. be right back, guys. All right, thanks, when, when he presented the offer, I like to figure out where they come up with an offer because the customer a lot of yeah. times will um, sometimes randomly pull a number out of the air because they feel like that's what they should pay, or sometimes they'll actually do their own investigation and try to figure out what a fair deal is for them. Bottom line is we need to make it a win-win for them and us to have a car deal, and that's what I'm working on now. It's a very fair deal for him and for us. He's excited and happy, and I'm his favorite character on the show, okay? So with that in mind, congratulations. <laughs> well, you know, whenever they say yes to your deal, you think, did I go to, did I not go low enough, you know? If, if they say yes to your first deal, you probably made a mistake. Um, but I actually just looked online, there was three other ones going for actually $1,000 um, less, but they all had 50,000 miles on them or more, as compared to 15,000 miles. So 1,000 bucks for 35,000 miles? How can you go wrong with that, right? Um, so yeah, she'll gone lower, she'll gone for 13.5. What are you taking that? Whenever they take your first offer, you wonder. He's feverish, he's feverish. <laughs> Better get some medicine for you, because you, help. <laughs> Well, we have a little bit of a problem here. Um, Georgie, George, who's been here for a long, long time. Uh, he's a number one salesperson that we have. He's very valuable to the company. Uh, he just came into my office, and uh, I can see the frustration in his face. Uh, he wants to go and eat lunch with me. He obviously doesn't want to talk here. Hopefully, this is not a conversation where he's looking at uh, going elsewhere. I hope that's not it. I don't want to lose... Uh, don't want to lose a good a good person like George. I had this in my mind for a while, and, and just hear me out. I'm with this company more than five years, and I believe I've been loyal to the company and uh, accomplished some results. I'll be honest with you, it kind of upset me a little bit why people who have less experience than I am have been promoted, and uh, as many times as I talk to different management people, all I have is a silence in return and kind of no result of that. I like where I work, I like the dealership, I like the people I'm around with, but understand my point too. I'm in business 34 years. I've been through every position except general manager. I think I'm capable for more than just sell cars on the floor. I'm trying to find myself and my future in this company. You Honestly, I didn't know the the background all of the, of the years that you've uh, been in the business and i think that if brandon knew that you wanted more i think that he would have probably approached this whole deal a different way um, i'm gonna sit down with him have a conversation and, and hopefully what, what i want to do is maybe there's nothing i can do right now for you or maybe there's nothing that he can do for you right now but now that understanding that this is where you want to go with your career and knowing that you have all this training, uh, maybe in the near future, we can set it up so that so that you can grow with the company. I appreciate okay. it. Thank, Thank you, George. Thank Thanks. you so much. You know, he, he talked to me because he feels comfortable talking to me, and I commend him for that, and um, we're definitely gonna try to do something for him because we don't want to lose him. You guys did a wonderful job last night. I went home depressed 
And I called Jeremy about 10 after 9, and I said, well, you know, where did we end up? And he said 8, and I about dropped the phone out of my hand. Um, between 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock, you guys delivered seven cars and made my night for sure. Um, I really appreciate your hard work there. In, in the winter months, we just get kind of uh, stale. We just stay behind the computer. It's cold. Nobody's coming in. But you guys did a fantastic job last night. I mean, it's unbelievable. I'm very proud of everybody. <laughs> Toyota has the best dependability of any full line automotive manufacturer. Split my focus a little. <laughs> Camry, America's best selling car, 12 out of the last 13 years. Coming up next on ICT Reality TV. I didn't watch it, I don't care for it. I don't like it. That's an issue, actually. Um, so it'll be Green Bay all the way, for sure. Well, if sure. that's the price of your car, then you can keep it and I'll walk on down the road. Sometimes the very best place and best time to get a great deal on a used car is when you can come to like Eddie's Toyota and find a GMC, something that I don't specialize in, something that I'm gonna pass a great deal on to the customer. No one ever thinks to come to Eddie's Toyota and buy a domestic car like this. But your advantage to buying it is number one, it's a local trade. I didn't go out and buy this in an auction, which you'll find at most car dealerships. And number two, I'm not even gonna try to get in the price game on it. This right here is a 2008 GMC Sierra. All the bells and whistles, it's loaded. It's got leather, it's a one owner. It's local from a guy right here in town. Right now, I'll make you one of the best deals in the city on this truck. Hello, my name is Craig Worcester. I'm the general manager for the Warren Theater in Old Town. We'd like to invite all viewers to watch the NFL championship game on the largest HD sports screen in Kansas. Doors open at 3.30, admission is definitely free, and we have no reserved seating. Remember, at the Warren Old Town Grill, you always have an all digital experience with full service of food and bar directly at your seat. Join us at the Warren Old Town Theater Grill.